is up you guys so today is going to be a tutorial on how to make like cool little Instagram effects some including the double tap effect the pop-up tag effect and like the video symbol in the corner and just how to make it look really tumblr Instagrammy. the first thing I'm going to show you is the double tap heart effect and this would actually be cool to be a transition as well but yeah so I got this picture of a heart from the internet and I'm gonna try to link that picture in the description but you can probably find a lot of different hearts um, and you can make one in Photoshop as well but I just decided that some of you guys might not have Photoshop so yeah. So I got my white heart right here but it does have this black outline because I couldn't find one with just the white heart so I'm gonna go to effects and search up color key and then I'm gonna go and get the dropper and put it on the black part and as you can see most of the black part has disappeared but I want to make sure that everything is disappeared because I kind of see a little outline. So I'm just going to change the edge thin to like 3. And on Instagram, it's not really fully white. So I'm just going to change the opacity to like 57%. And that looks a little bit better. And I'm going to center this a bit because it doesn't really look centered in my opinion. Okay, so you can adjust the position if you want. Okay, so now to make the heart pop up, I'm going to go a little bit after... The picture comes up, and then I'm going to press the keyframe button for scale. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning and press 0. So now it pops up just like this. Okay, now I know that when you double tap, it kind of like animates a little right after. It like scales down then up again. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing. So right after our last keyframe, I'm going to go forward and then change it to the scale to 90. And then go forward again and change it back to 100. And then I'm just going to extend this a little bit. And then I'm going to go and let the heart go on for a little while. And then make a keyframe button over here by pressing the little dot. And then go a couple frames forward and then change the scale to zero. So now if we watch it back, it sort of scales up and then bounces a bit. And then stays in a regular position and then scales back down. Which is exactly kind of how Instagram does it. Okay, so that's basically it. That's the first heart effect. So now let's move on to the pop-up tag effect, but I'm just going to drag this to the end of the clip. Okay, now we're going to create a new text layer, but I'm just going to change the workspace to all panels so we can see the titles and also see the effect panels. So I'm going to first make a new title by pressing Command T, and this will create a new title, and then I'm just going to drag it on top of my clip. Okay, now we can use the panels on the right to create new solids. So I'm going to go to the legacy title tools and I'm going to press that rectangle and just create a rectangle. Now I'm also going to go to the one right below that which is this triangle and I'm just going to create a small little triangle and, and then I can also just rotate it if I go a little bit outside the little box that outlines the triangle and then I'm just going to drag it down so it connects to the rectangle kind of like how the tags are on Instagram. So now we have the shape of it. Now I'm just going to select all of them by dragging it, just like that. And then I'm going to go to the Legacy Title Properties, and I can just change the opacity lower a bit for now. And then I'm going to change the color picker to like closer to the black side. I'm going to keep the opacity at about 91%. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now we got to add our text. So let's go to the Legacy Title Tools again. And we're going to go to the T button and we're just going to type up our text. So I'm just going to tag my sister who's in this clip right now and put her Instagram on this. So I'm just going to write her Instagram name. You could change the font to something that looks similar to Instagram. I'm just going to change it to Helvetica. And you're going to want to make sure that the text is in lowercase mode. Okay, now we want to change the color of the text to white. So let's go to the color and then change that to white. And then we can change the font size to make it smaller so that it can fit inside the rectangle. And then go to the X position and the Y position to drag it into the rectangle. So now it looks like the Instagram tag effect, so it's looking pretty good. Okay, so if you watch it back, it just kind of pops up right here. So we kind of want to make it like Jake Paul. Yeah, this is inspired by Jake Paul so that it kind of follows and tracks your person basically. So I'm just gonna go to the position and I'm gonna set it 
to a certain place that I can kind of pinpoint and this will be kind of on her neck and then I'm going to press the keyframe button and then go a little bit forward to where she's kind of moving and this just change the position to follow kind of the same spot. Okay, so if we watch it back, it's kind of moving, and it's looking pretty good. It's not too shaky or anything, and not using a motion tracker, which is pretty good. Now let's move on to the sort of video symbol on the top right corner that shows up in the beginning when you're scrolling through Instagram videos, I guess. So this is kind of a lot of work for just like one frame, but like, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so we're going to create a new title by pressing Command T. And then we'll give him just press OK. And then we'll go to the Legacy Title Tools and we'll create a rectangle. So let's go to the Rectangle Tool again and just create a small little rectangle on the top right corner. And then we can go to the Ellipse Tool to create a small circle as well. And this will be pretty small. <laughs> now we can use the Pen Tool to create a trapezoid because there's not actually a trapezoid. So let's just create our own. Now again, this is only going to be for like barely any seconds in the beginning of the video so it doesn't have to be super perfect but if you want you can do that but yeah my trapezoid is looking pretty ugly right now okay now let's go to legacy title properties and then let's go to the graphic type and change that to filled bezier so that it's filled and then you can resize this to be a little bit smaller so it kind of is matching the size of the rectangles height yeah <laughs> Okay, now you want to sort of rotate it to be in the opposite direction. Okay, so now it looks like a video camera, you know? Now let's go to the rectangle again and to the properties. Let's change the graphic type to close bezier. So now it'll be the outline. But let's go to the fill. But let's go to the line width and just bring that all the way up. So I'm going to about 37 and... um. Yeah, you kind of want to make it pretty wide. And then you can hold on to shift and then just drag it to make it smaller so that it just goes smaller and it doesn't change like the width or height or anything. Now let's go to our circle and let's just put it inside the rectangle so it fits. And you can use the Y position and the X position to just try to make it perfect. So in my opinion, that's looking pretty good. So let's just drag the title up to our timeline and then put it in the beginning like first few frames of the clip and put it into the right corner so we can adjust that position and just drag it to the right corner and you can change the opacity down if you want so I changed it to 73 percent okay so now if you watch it back we have that symbol camera film look on the right corner just like how Instagram has it in the first few frames of the video and then we have the tag effect going on and then in the end, we have our double tap effect. Okay, just so I can show you guys what I'm doing for the beginning cinematic sequence, I guess. What I'm doing right now to make it look like Instagram is, is I'm just going to create a black video. And then I'm going to drag it onto the top. And then I'm just going to adjust the position so that it goes towards the left. So it's at negative 626 right now. And then I'm going to hold Alt and then just drag it to the fourth video line. And then for this one, I'm just going to drag the position x-axis to the opposite direction. And I'm honestly just guesstimating right now, so you can actually do the math to make it look perfect and equal on both sides. But just for the sake of the beginning little sequence, I'm just going to keep it at this amount. And then what I'm going to do is just go to my video symbol that's hiding behind the black solid and just adjusting the position to the left so that you can still see it. And I'm also just going to make it a bit smaller. And then I'm going to drag the black videos all the way till the end of the clip so that you see the black video bars throughout the whole clip. And then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer because you got to have that color grading. So I'm just going to first drag the two black videos up one level so that I can put the adjustment layer on the third video line. Then just drag it throughout the whole clip and then add Lumetri color on this. So let's go to effects and search up Lumetri color and then add it onto the adjustment layer and then we're going to go to creative and just add a LUT on this. FVS6 looks really vintage and Instagram looking 
um, because it's like vintage greenish, I guess. And um, it already has like a film look on it. So I'm just going to show you how I can do it with a different LUT. So with FVS2, I'm just going to keep the intensity at 85. And I can fade this. And fading it will look a lot like the Instagram vibe. So I faded it to 33. So that's basically how I did the beginning. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.